Welcome to George Washington's Mount Vernon, which is owned and operated by the Mount Vernon Ladies Association. Today, we will be visiting the Donald W. Reynolds Education Center to take a look at three defining periods of George Washington's life. So join us for another Lesson on the Road. So we don't have an exact idea of exactly what Washington looked like. There are no cameras during his lifetime to take a picture of him. And so for years we had to go off of sculptures and portraits of his likeness. But from 2003 to 2005, a team of forensic scientists, historians, and artists came together to try to recreate what Washington would have looked like at ages 19, 45, and 57. Basically as a young man, the general and as president. The first of three forensically based life-size wax statues of George Washington show him as a 19-year-old land surveyor. At this point in his life, George Washington would have been six feet two inches tall and would have weighed approximately 175 pounds. Although George Washington didn't survey professionally after the year 1752, he did continue to survey for himself personally. By the time he passed away, George Washington owned over 700,000 acres of land between the Potomac River and the Ohio River. The second of the forensically based life-size figures of George Washington depicts him at age 45 as commander of the Continental Army. It was in 1775 that the Second Continental Congress unanimously selected him to lead the Continental Army. Behind me, Washington can be seen looking stoically determined astride his horse, Blueskin. Blueskin was one of two horses that Washington favored, the other being Nelson. Nelson was used more frequently by Washington in battle, while Blueskin was used more for ceremonial purposes. The third and final forensically based wax statue here at George Washington's Mount Vernon shows him as a 57-year-old man being sworn in as our first president at Federal Hall in New York City on April 30th, 1789. During his eight years as our president, George Washington was a steady hand at the helm of the ship, weathering conflict abroad and challenges here at home. George Washington was unanimously elected two times by the Electoral College. After serving eight years as president, George Washington voluntarily stepped away, setting the precedent for future presidents to follow. So thank you for joining us for another Lesson on the Road. Next time you're in Northern Virginia and you're looking for something to do that's historical, a bit scientific, and just all around nerdy, come check out George Washington's Mount Vernon and everything that has to offer. That's Mr. Graham. That's Mr. Gimby. That's Mr. Raymond. We'll catch you next time. Gentlemen. Sure. So next time you're in Northern Virginia and you're looking for something historical, what does that mean? Wait. That's you. That's your line. You met one line in this part and you messed it up. Wait. To try, try to recreate what Washington would have looked like at ages 19, I forgot the, the years, the years, 1945 and 57. The first of three forensically based life lives. The first of three forensically based lifelike statues of George Washington shows him as a 19 year old land surveyor. Yeah. Something nerdy, something scientific. Something historical, a bit scientific, and all around nerdy. Oh, yeah. it was me. Yeah. I messed it up. I thought I said a history. Well, I messed it up too. I wouldn't have got okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I keep wanting to say like blue gill, like the fish. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Behind me, Washington can see. Behind me, Washington can be seen. Oh my, why is that so tough? They are tough. All right, I say, I say historical, right? Yeah, and then he says right. scientific, then I say all around. Yeah, okay, great. great. The third and final forensically based statue of Washington here at Mount Vernon shows him as a 57 year I was not looking at the camera. I don't know. Because I'm talking to you. Could you son. put eye, like googly eyes on put it? Put googly eyes on it. All right.